Hello guys, welcome back. As I said, strings play a very important role in the Python development. So it's very broad and we need to tackle every part of it. So let's get started. Our topic for today is string concatenation. To concatenate means to combine or to add two or more things together. So in this topic, we are basically going to learn how to combine two or more strings. All right. There are several ways to do this. So we are going to look at all of the approaches that we can use to concatenate strings. First, two or more strings are automatically concatenated when they are next to each other. So let's see how this goes. If we have this variable name equals, then we say pill, all right? And then this one we say, let's say low. So if we print this, we print name you can see that they will be combined so we have pillow all right another one we can say greetings then we assign i next one will be so let's bring comma here how are you so if we try to print greetings let's see what we are getting hi how are you but you see they have been combined as I said in the earlier video, you have to bring spaces at the places that you want spaces. So here you want spaces. You can either bring it here or you can bring it in the previous word. All right. So we can bring it here and then here to here we want space. So we can either bring it here or here. All right. Then we bring space here and here to we bring space. So if we print this shift plus enter, we get I how are you so this is one way that we can concatenate strings they are just individual words but we have combined them all right since they are next to each other they are automatically concatenated by python so i don't know why someone would try to do this instead of defining them all at once but this is how you can also concatenate strings let's look at the next one supposing your string is very long and you want to break it into parts as we have seen in the previous video how we did that we can also do it another way so let's say we have a variable called caution here and then we assign you have to be consistent in learning python to it so you see it's long so we want to break it into parts we can use the bracket we write our string in here so we say you have to then here we bring our next word here so our next word is consistent right in then our last word is learning python so let's try to print caution and then let's see what we get so if we print caution here we are getting you have to be consistent in learning python but you see where we didn't bring space the words are stuck together and where is that that is between b and consistent so we can bring a space here i provided a space here so we didn't have any problem with in and then learning so if you try to print this you have it correctly so this is one way using the bracket we can also concatenate long strings but every one of them has to be in a quotation mark as we have seen above let's look at another way that we can concatenate strings we can concatenate strings by using the addition symbol that is a plus so if you have let's say two variables so we can concatenate this by using the print function by just doing this we bring the first one here the first the one that we want to come first as ever and then we use the addition symbol and then we say s var here so if we print this we are getting hello world again we didn't bring space so the words are stuck together so if you want your words to stack together then you can choose not to bring space as pillow you want it together that is why we didn't bring space so the words were stuck together but here there are two different words so we want it to be space so we can bring space here or we can bring space here and if you print this you will get hello over so this is another way that we can concatenate strings by using the addition operator by using the addition operator we can concatenate strings that you might think look different that is if we assign a string literal to a variable let's say who and then in the print function we try to concatenate this who and then another string 
so this is a variable right a is a variable we can concatenate it with a string itself so let's indicate that here who are uh, let's say you so if we print this we are getting who are you also by using the multiplication symbol or operator we can repeat a string a number of times that we want all right so these are the only two mathematical operators that we can use on strings that is the addition operator and then the multiplication operator so let's say we have a variable called name which is equal to let's say sum and we want to print sum three times so we can just say print name then we bring the mathematical operator times three so if you print this we are getting sum 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 you can bring space here so that if you want space between them you get some 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 i hope by now you have seen that anything that is enclosed in a single or double quote is a string so if you have a number that is let's say one two three that is enclosed in a quotation mark it means it's a string it's no more a number all right so let's assign this to a variable let's say str num if we print this str num we are getting one two three but what you should know is that this one two three is not a number so there is a function called type function that you can use to check the data type of a certain letter or a certain data so if you bring type here and then we enclose it in the bracket you will see that we are seeing class str as i said earlier in this course everything in python is an object you will very soon look at object oriented programming that is everything in python is a class so that is why we are seeing class str you will soon look at how we can build our own classes by using the data types that we are learning now so we have to take what you are learning now very serious so that we can build our own classes or data types as we progress but if we don't enclose this number in a string and we say one two three then if you try to check the type of one two three you will see that now it's an integer all right so if we try to bring a decimal here let's say nine we see that the class will be a float so this is how we can check the data type of a letter i want to teach you one last way that you can concatenate strings that is using the print function itself so let's see what the print function itself does in order to see what or how to use a certain function or anything that is built in in python there are two ways that you can get into this first you can use the dare function that you have seen before to see everything that is under the function itself so if you try to print there and then we want to see everything that is in the print function so we are using the print function to see everything that is in the print function if you print this we are getting call class you don't need to understand everything that is here but what is important is we use the there function that is a directory function to see everything that is in a built-in function you can also use the help utility is very important these are some of the things that you should always remember so if you print this we are seeing that help on built-in function print in model built-in before you can be a good programmer you have to know how to read documentation so this is a documentation on the print function anytime you want to know how to use a certain function you can use it to let you know how to use that particular function so here we are seeing that the print function takes star x whenever that is you are reading a documentation and you see star x it means it can take any number of arguments all right separated by commas that is what it means here and then we also have something called sep here you will see what the sep does very soon the second one means let's look here string inserted between values default a space that is if you put any number of arguments in the print function those arguments are automatically separated by hot space and then the end means string appended after the last value default a new line and that is anything that comes after the print function will be printed on a new line so when you close the print function with this bracket everything that comes next will be printed on a new line but we will look at how we can override these separate and then end we can also use something called doc that is a documentary to actually see how something is being implemented or how to use a particular function so you want to use the print function to know how to use the print function all right so if we try to do print dots then double underscore all right then we bring doc 
and then another double underscore if you close this and we print this we are getting print the values to a stream or to sys.std out by default you don't need to understand what this means for now but what i want to show you is the sep string inserted between values default a space and then and string appended after the last value default a new line so you can always let this be on your fingertips that is the dog the there and then the help utility so that it, they can always help you to know how to use a particular function so let's look at how we can use the print function to concatenate strings if we define two variables that is let's say first name then we say first name is equal to sam and then we say last name is equal to let's say john by the way take a look at how i'm defining this variable if you declare a variable like this it's called a camel case that is every new word starts with a capital letter all right it's called a camel case and then the one that i defined with underscores let me see yes something like this is called snake case all right so one way that we can use the print function to concatenate this is if we write first name and then we bring comma last name so if you try to print this so this is how we can use the print function to concatenate strings the print function was able to concatenate these two string literals because of this you see we have the sepia string inserted between values default a space so the sep automatically inserted a space between these two variables it means we can override it if we see how we use the help utility function to take a look at the print function we saw that it was print into bracket star x comma sep comma end so it means we can override this space that is being automatically provided in the print function let's take a look at how we can do that let me copy this one here and then i paste it here so instead of sam and then space john i want to bring hyphen between sam and john how can i do that all i have to do is just bring comma here and then the sep that is automatically providing space i override it and say bring hyphen all right and if i print this now i'm having some hyphen john so you can always override the sep to suit you how you want your variables to look like i can bring star here and if i print i'm having some star john lastly let's take a look at the end it says string appended after the last value default a new line it means whenever that you print anything after you have closed a print function will automatically be printed on a new line so let's see if we print first name here and then we print last name here let's print this you see they have been printed on a different line because of this end operator here it has make the last name being printed on the next line the separator used to separate two arguments in the print function with a space we just saw how we can override let's see how we can override the end operator too so when we go here the default operator is the new line character that is backslash n so if we print this you see that nothing has changed because that is the default operator over there if you remember we did this in the previous video called escape sequence so this is the default operator in the end function if we print this it's showing us the same thing as if we didn't bring the, the end function there so if we want to override this we can say bring empty space here and then if we print this you see we are having them on the same line so we are overriding the new line character that is the slash n to be empty space if you don't bring space here they will be printed together all right so if you bring space here you're overriding the end operator and you are telling pointer that hey after the first name don't print the next thing on the new line just bring space and print it on the same line all right
this was a long video bye bye see you in the next video